going on guys good morning i'm in london with brad riley uh, come all the way here for a business meeting we've got we've actually signed the clients already but we need to make it official by like signing contracts and stuff like that so uh, we're going to meet up we're here in london today um probably won't document that but we'll tell you about like what went on like later um excited to get this client like or to get started with this client because sorry about that uh the clients like the, we, we've seen all the other accounts and we've seen like uh the size of the accounts the size of the data on the facebook pixel and we know that we can do some damage like, if, if, if she lets us i like, do our thing with with their accounts then we can really do some serious damage and really get some major results for it. Anyway, other than that, we're probably, we're, we're, we're probably just going to get some personal random pictures, get some content for YouTube, stuff like that. Take you guys along with me on the the, the daily journey, daily grind, whatever. Got anything to add to that, Mr. Riley? Well, the Uber's on its way, mate. It's four minutes away, if that's what you want to know. <laughs> <laughs> right, so the Uber's on its way. Um, we're I, not in the mood to walk at all, so we're going to get the Uber. Get some breakfast as well because we still haven't eaten and other than that just take you guys along with me on my day. Yeah. Oh really? No worries. They put a sign there. No entry or something. I was like, what? Canadian flag, didn't know Quentin was here. Shout out to Quentin. Quentin Chan. Quentin Chan. Yeah. Stalin no. Dissing but got pictures with me smiling, no All the things you need, you still want problems, though All the things I know, I still been silent, though We should have recorded the conversation we had this morning That was like full on, like, like In bed Yeah, like, I, you were on your laptop in bed, I was literally sitting there. No, no, yeah, like the first, I'm sure the first thing you said to me was like Yeah, like this year we're gonna scale to like half a million or something like that Yeah I think the foundation we've built at the end of this year gonna set us up. Because that's the thing, most people start like New Year, New Year, like January, let's smash yeah. it. I feel like we've got the structure to but if we start that now. Well yeah, if we start this now, yeah. we're gonna be ahead of everyone that starts in January. That's it. Yeah. We'll yeah. be like new, new December, new me. <laughs> like we, we've, we've got it, we, yeah. With the team we've got, the clients we're getting, the structure we've got. A certain figure agency. Right here, mate. Plus, I think like, like we've definitely got the best structure, team, and processes. Like, even in like the bigger, bigger boys of the, yeah, the industry. Like, uh -huh. I think definitely this is next level. We took a few months back to really get into clients, just so it could be all about the yeah structure. That's it. Sacked off a few clients on purpose, just so we could focus on the bigger boys and. Yeah, it's exciting, mate. It really is the time. So it's just that it's a thousand percent investment winner. Take one step back, two steps forward. Ten steps forward. Ten steps forward. Building strong brands. So if you can see, if you can pick one book right here now and recommend it to somebody, what book yeah. would it be that just, you've read? Just out of these, a, or? There's a lot of books here that I've got and I've read. Yeah. I honestly think the personal MBA is like a must read for everyone who wants to get into entrepreneurship just to get that general knowledge. I'm trying to see what ones I've read here that can be really helpful. Tools of Titans is really good. Tribe Mentors as well. Talk like Ted. You shouldn't overthink it, unless, it's actually, unless they use moleskin. Do they actually use the skin? Probably not. See, the thing is, I always think the name becomes the brand leader. Like, people always spend so much time focusing on the name, and I always think, you know, that it doesn't mean, like, Apple doesn't mean anything. You know I mean, they've made a brand out of Apple. Google, like, what kind of shit names that when you think about it? What does it mean? Yeah, I've got 13 inch, but I think 15 inch is probably better. Right guys, so we're at High Park now, uh, just had the meeting, the meeting went really well, like I already said, like we already landed the client, but it was just sort of like get together, you know, physically meet up, um, get some paperwork sorted out, and just discuss some strategies moving forward. Uh, funny thing is, like we actually had an agreement for three months, um, so we signed, the, like we've, we've got the, the client to sign a contract, we've also signed the contract, 
that uh, she's going to be with us for three months. So we've got 90 days to get a results, get a you know a return on investment. But because we actually, because I physically like came over from Amsterdam uh, in the Netherlands to London, and Bradley got a train over uh, to London as well to actually physically meet up with her, we've got a verbal agreement to wait together for 12 months. So three months is on, in contract. Uh, you know we've. Uh, we, we've got it for three months and then she's made that verbal commitment she said that she wants to wait together with us for the long term and you know she basically said um, I can see us work for at least 12 months I think the, um, the good thing as well to mention is that we've been working together now for two weeks or so like the, the client already paid this was kind of just to set things in stone and actually sign the contract she did already pay for the first month but the cool thing is within the first two weeks of us actually working together to when we met up she she said to us like you're already getting so much better results than i was that you know we're not going to leave you guys ever and we're happy to increase the retainer every couple of months um it is kind of like a startup but as they grow we grow so it's a kind of win-win situation yeah that's like I wouldn't necessarily call her a start, but basically she's at the point now where she cannot grow further unless she gets like professionals in, so to say. And uh, so basically we're going to help her. She's hit like a, a, a sort of glass ceiling and we're going to help her scale her business because she can't, she can no longer do it on her own. And the first thing we've done is actually restructured uh, all her ads. Yeah. So it's much easier to, to scale it. And you know, it's much, I think we've, we, the way we've done it is, you know, it's much more manageable to see okay which ads are performing better uh -huh. which ads aren't doing as well and we can actually see okay where where can we actually get the the highest return on ad spend and then also get a the highest return on investment and the fact that after two weeks we're already getting a really good solid results and we're already starting to need to increase the budget is a is a win-win so i think one note for people to take away is wherever your clients are like josh has flown all the way over from holland to come to this meeting if your client's in the US, if your client's in another country, take the time, make the effort, show up to the meeting in person, and you're gonna build more rapport, and people are gonna feel, it's almost like the law of reciprocity, is a uh, law of reciprocity, like they feel like they owe you something, so therefore they're gonna be more likely to stay with you, and if you add fantastic results on top of that, they're never gonna leave. Yeah, that's it, like, people often ask, like, how would you keep clients for longer, or what is the lifetime value of your clients, and stuff like that, and, you know, if you're actually putting in the effort to get in front of their face, you know, to meet with them in person, then they're much more likely to stick with you for longer. Be like exactly what you said, you know. If, they, they, if, if you're just meeting up with them on Skype or you email them and uh, it, they're not entirely happy, chances are they're just going to cancel payments and you're never going to hear back from them again. But, you know, if you actually have got that uh, rapport with them and you you know you're physically in contact with them you you chat to them uh, you know you're seeing each other face to face then if if something does go wrong you know I, I don't think we'll ever do anything wrong for this client but say something does go wrong then you know they're more likely to say to you you know listen I'd rather have it like like in a, a different way or something like that like they'll tell you rather than just canceling payments and leaving you of course and all expectations are set so when we spoke to her yesterday, she even said to us, like, look, I just want you guys to know, like, I'll keep on top of the ad campaign, but I'm not going to be micromanaging you guys. I want you to just take full control and leave you to it. And because those expectations are set, everything's going to be golden moving forward. That's it. So anyway, guys, uh, that was a little update. We're going to get something to eat, and then I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Is that our Uber, yeah? Are you Brad Riley from YouTube? Yeah, mate, do you want a signature? Yeah, mate. I'm subscribed to your channel. I, w I watch all your videos, mate. Hi, mate. By the way, for anyone who hasn't subscribed to this channel yet, make sure you do. His link will be in the description box. Subscribe to the channel. you basically just got business content, same as mine, but with more subs. <laughs> <laughs> Not that many more subs, mate. Not that many. <laughs> so, guys, back home again from a few days in London. Had a great time. Uh, meeting up again with Brad Riley. Also, you know, meeting the clients in person. Um, as you can see, the video was quite raw, you know, a few little edits here and there, but it was like raw footage, that's why um, there wasn't like really like a natural ending to the vlog, that's why I'm filming the outro now. Um, as much as I like the edits, and I like editing the little uh, B-roll footages, I've noticed that a lot of people um, actually enjoy just raw footage, just, you know, talking, just uh, like me casually talking to Bradley and having the camera on in the background where you can just hear us. Um, it's a bit more realistic rather than you know constantly having to vlog it, it when you vlog it does become a bit more like you're talking to the camera and sometimes it's not as natural so um, I like the way this video turned out hope you did too um, in terms of meeting up with clients um, I am a big proponent of um, like I, I really do think that 
meeting on Skype and having like the clothes on Skype, you know, hashtag Skype close gang if you follow Quentin Chad. Um, you know, I do think that on Skype having the meeting is very effective and I think now that I think like we are moving towards um a place where that's become more and more natural. Like even my dad's got meetings on Skype nowadays. Like uh, normally he used to like travel all over the Netherlands and all over Europe to, to meet up with clients. And even now he is on Skype and on Google Hangouts. Um, but I do think that once you've closed the client and the client is within reach, like obviously if you're in the Netherlands and the client's in America, it's a bit more difficult. But if you can, then definitely go the extra mile and meet up with the client because it, it will pay back, you know, it will uh, pay dividends in the long run. You will benefit from it because the client will, like, you'll see a face, you know, to the to the voice that they're constantly hearing and um, you'll just know who they're dealing with and you can just build up rapport. And like I said, you know, we've got the three month contract, but we've got a verbal agreement for 12 months and we would not have gotten that if we would have just you know kept the contact through skype and whatsapp anyway guys hope you enjoyed this video hope you got something out of it uh, before i forget because it's you know at the time I'm recording this it's cyber monday and if you want 15 dollars off lifestyle design playbook an entire book on living life on your own terms uh, and it, that includes like various online business models on how to earn money online so you can live locations location independent then the link will be in the description box down below so make sure you benefit from that discount it is limited to 10 people so at the time of recording this there's nine spots left at the time of uploading this i'm guessing there's gonna be much less so like this video if you got something out of it make sure you subscribe to my channel and brad riley's channel as well thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one Gotta do what I gotta do.